and here is the final video. So you see I've got the tree in, strapped to the espalier, got him backfilled with the mixed soil, and you can see I have him really deep to grade, which is commonly not recommended, but I find in Arizona sinking the plant a little further in the ground really helps the tree out. Okay, so the next step is we're going to come back in our tree well and we're going to fill it with one more of these 15 gallon containers worth of my compost. of this is is to feed the tree continually from this point on you just dump your compost in the well right on top of the old and as it settles and gets eaten by all the soil microbes which is actually what you're feeding you're not actually feeding the tree you're feeding the soil microbes in the soil the fungus and the bacteria and the beneficial nematodes and the earthworms and the earwigs, all the primary decomposers. So we want to spread this out nice and even in the well. This is his long-term food. So this is just straight compost on top. Okay. Pretty level. Okay, so that's that step finished. Now I'm going to go on top with another 15 gallon container with some good quality wood chips. And what this is going to do is retain the moisture, and this will also feed the fungus. Later off and later on in life here, so let's get this in here. Okay. <clears throat> get these spread out on top of the compost. I'm sorry for the shaking, guys. I don't have a camera person here. Okay, you have it completely covered at least three or four inches, if not deeper. I'm going to go ahead and do what everyone tells you also not to do, and I'm going to go ahead and pile a bunch up here on the trunk. Let's just get it all up on the trunk here to kind of prove a point. Let's just not be too careful about how we do this one. Just don't go above the graft. That's the only real concern. You see the graft line on this tree is right here. So you never want to bury above this point. And that's when they come into issues with problems and fungus and bacteria because it enters the end of the original tree that this was grafted onto. There's an ingrain on this side. You really can't see it from here, but just stay below that graft union and you'll be okay with piling up stuff against the trunk. Alright, so let's check our finished product here. Alright, he should be good for years to come. <laughs> 